I what, sorry? Okay, hold on a sec. I'm just filming for the sunset. I'm safe and it's okay. I'll hook in as soon as I get down. Harness is on. We've got Santorini just ahead of us to the right here and the sun's just going down. You can just see the mountainscape in the distance. It's beautiful. It is the middle of summer here, but it's cold. This is our second night, so we haven't filmed anything at all because um, it's pretty hectic. We're about to overstay our visa. You know, we left at 10 o'clock at night. It's all a bit rush rush. We did have it all planned, like we were gonna leave anyway, and we had a bit of a passage plan. You know, just do the last little things that you do when you're about to leave to do a seven day crossing to another country, but they did not care. They just wanted us off the dock and they wanted us to leave and we couldn't anchor the harbour and blah, blah, blah. Left last night, we didn't film overnight. Didn't film today because uh, I woke up this morning and our whole water tank had drained into our bilge. Something on our water pump broke, fixed that today. This whole first day, we're just trying to get into the swing of it. We're lucky that we've got 15 to 20 knots and we don't have, you know, 30 to 40 knots with this Mel Tammy. That 30 to 40 knots is probably 12 hours behind us, uh, which is another reason why we're just quickly motoring and, and heading north right now, because uh, we, ne we need to keep in front of that 30 knot wind. Ah, uh, uh, Santorini, Rudy's asleep right now. Strapped in, uh, jacket on. We've got 10 knots, we've reefed, and we're going three and a half knots. So the reason that we're reefed only at 10 knots is because we're just waiting for cat coastline to catch up. So station I have slowed down a little bit. Coastline Sunday, Sunday, coastline, coastline, Sunday, insulation. 6 a.m. Good morning fleet. Safety call. Sunday, insulation, coffee, how you going? Mate, just had a hot shower, changed me undies, brushed the pegs, <laughs> having a cuppa, mate. Who wouldn't be in a good mood? Oh man, I reckon I need to go down and do the same when Rudy wakes up over. And good morning coastline. We do calls every two hours throughout the night, make sure all's safe. That's Lacey calling me at 6 a.m. So I think that's the last one for the night. We start at 10 p.m. and go to 6 a.m. Just call every two hours, make sure we're okay. Okay. You're awake now, this is your first time on camera of this trip. Oh god, don't look at me. What'd you say to yourself? Oh, we had calm seas just this morning, had no wind and flat seas, and you uh, went for a pee, you did a poo on your grass mat, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Hey, <laughs> do you do a pee and a poo? Do you want a treat? There you go, you had breakfast. Ben's come to steal the treat. Brittany's awake, I'm gonna go to bed now. I wouldn't say I'm awake. <laughs> I'm up. Along pretty good, had a shower, had a good chat to all the boys and everyone on the other boats, and they're all doing good. Anyway, I feel a million dollars now that I've had a shower, and Brittany's jealous, so she is having a shower off the back of the boat right behind this camera. If you want to see some jugs, turn around now. Oh, psych! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, check out Brittany's shower.
We're back motoring again, guys. We've been sailing, motoring, sailing, motoring, sailing, motoring. For anyone who wonders <laughs> what we do for Jackson for passages. The poor little thing goes for a walk to the bow on <laughs> a piece of grass while Finn watches. We got our veggie bag, 11 water. Cheers. So this is our little romantic dinner off the coast of the Peloponnese. So we got the island of Crete just there. We got the sunset just there. We got the Peloponnese just there. And we have Brittany. We got Finn here. Oh no! <laughs> this is bullshit. I haven't even had my first fight yet. God damn it. Man, this is meant to be a nice romantic. Oh, there you go. Alright. Cool. Wet and oily for you, baby. I'm feeling a bit nervous leaving land for three days. This whole time crossing over so far, we've been able to see land and at any point, if anything got too crazy, we were able to pull in somewhere for shelter. But after this point, sit to Malta. This is my first proper meal since we started. I got seasick on first morning and my diet began apparently. Look how beautiful the sunset is. This is great. We're going through the tip of the Peloponnese. We got the Crete on one side. I think there's like a continental shelf along the bottom of Crete and two oceans meet up, two, uh, I guess, winds meet up. So it's a very confused sea state, a very shitty spot to go, a very dangerous spot. And I think we're gonna be getting like five knots of wind through there. We got a beautiful sunset. We've had a beautiful romantic dinner. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit more. This is a little bit. Oh. There he goes. We're on our own. Us, Brittany. Uh, wind on the beam conditions of between 10 and 18 knots over. Are you hearing me okay? Yeah, you're fine, yeah, okay. Um, I, I get a lot of static uh, from you. I was just wondering whether you were hearing me. Jackson, you gonna sign off for the night? You and me sleep up here. Let mum go downstairs, watch a movie. I got the radar set so I can just see and I just monitor everything. If I see something I don't like, I just kind of put my head up above the deck here. Have a quick look around. Ryan, you know the drill, mate. You're up here on the sailing. You'll be on the lead. Ah, good boy. Here we got Salacia out on our port side here. Cruising through, beautiful night through here. We've got Brittany in the companion way, asking if I got my life jacket on and harness, and yes, I do. A little darker, we've got coastline over there, you can see him. Here we got Crete, we've got the Peloponnese. We have come from over somewhere over here, and we've sailed across to here. Almost halfway through a trip because we're heading here. We've got a ship here, we've got two here, we've got one here, we've got one here. If I zoom in, a little bit, you will see Salacia and Coastline pop up. There's Salacia, there's Coastline. Hey buddy. It's been an eventful morning. All these guys cruising through. We got the sunrise again behind me. Looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna go to bed. It is seven o'clock. I've been awake now for four hours. It's Brittany's time, so Brittany can enjoy the sunrise. Go wake her up. Sleeping. Yeah. Whoa. This is probably the best thing I've seen sailing. That's amazing. What a beautiful night. Yeah. We're traveling at 3.5 knots. We're actually doing all right. How much wind do we have? Five knots. Five knots, 4.9, and we're sailing at almost three and a half knots. Steve, stop beating up your brother. Oh, Jesus. Poor Jackson just wants to relax. Reversing. That saved me. Ryan, he's going to chuck him overboard. 
boat, and you know it's not the time to get zoomies. We're in the middle of the ocean. You know what? You're getting clipped on. You're in trouble. You are getting clipped on. <laughs> All right, guys, the Sunday tender. We open for business in five minutes. Feel free to uh, come, pick up, drop off, whatever it may be. Right. Oh! oh. There's a flying fish in there. Oh, that's oh. sad. Oh, man. Oh. oh, he's been there for a while, poor little dude. Sorry, buddy. Just drifting off to sea. I'll see you in Malta. So you finally picked him up. I got rid of him. <laughs> Look at Ryan's just a man adrift. Where's your volleyball when you need it? Like Lou made some fresh baked bread for everyone. Ryan's dropping it off the coastline, and then I gotta go pick him up. Time to go rescue the stranded man. I'm gonna reverse to you. Okay, stop. There we go. All right, baby cakes for our hard work today. Oh my god. And Brittany, I'm sorry your man didn't deliver the goods because I could not sell the flying fish. No one wanted it, so I donated him to the uh, the bigger fish. All right, we got sun-dried tomato, pesto, bread, and then this one. Oh, it's still warm. Oh, Nutella. Thank you, Lou. You're the best. The whole point of motoring this last like 18 hours is to get up higher because the wind's coming soon. When the wind comes, we can grab it. That's what predict wind says. So uh, it's kind of like we motor now and then hopefully we can sail for the remaining day and a half. I'm bored as hell. I don't like reading. Apparently reading is a sailor's sport. I just woke up from a nap. I've been sleeping well, but I find I've been trying to sleep a lot because I'm only getting the three, couple hours during the day. I'm just like dozing on and off. So the days have actually been going pretty quick because I've been sleeping a lot of them, but it's just for like 10, 15 minute increments. For anyone who's considering having their cat or dog on a sailboat, this whole passage has been really humid at night and like everything's really damp. So everything right now is covered in salt. Can you see all this? So it's damp and Jackson sheds. So put those two things together and look at how disgusting this is. <laughs> Jackson's hair is just sticking to everything. Look at Gross. This boat needs a serious rinse down when we get back to civilization. What are you doing? I'm trying to read. You just want to be enlightened, don't you? Before I left, I pre-made some meals. So I did a big batch of spaghetti bolognese and I put it in Ziploc bags. So it's really easy. And I also did, I cooked up a whole ton of chicken, chopped it up and froze it. Stick that in the pan with some water to heat it back up. Dinner served. Okay, I stopped drying up on chocolate as well because he's a child, a man child. Oh. How's your spag ball? Any map, buddy? Any map? Yeah, thank you, good. You're good cook. Ryan's downstairs, he got a bit too much sun today. We don't have a spray hood, so when the sun starts to set, it comes straight in and this whole cockpit area gets illuminated. Uh, we've got 254 nautical miles to go. We should be in Malta, not tomorrow, but the next day. Maybe afternoon, depends on if we get some wind and we can speed up a little bit. Right now we're going fairly slow to try and conserve fuel. My hair's a nightmare. I'm looking very salty. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think it's massive. I just woke up, I saw the radar, and I was just like, this big bastard. And I look up, and man, he is a big bastard. Got it all under control, bro. <laughs> is that all you have to say?
My first tip would be put out your mainsail, over. What's that? So... <laughs> you might need to turn your motor back on! These guys are crazy. Ah. Two out of it, buddy. Oi. Hey. Rick and Lou's um, handheld is not holding a charge and their radio downstairs doesn't work very well when we get a bit far away from each other. And then on top of that, it's quite crackly and it's a pain in the ass. So Rick, <laughs> Rick was just talking to us through his megalo, what is it, a megaphone? Megaphone off his bow. <laughs> it's so funny. But we finally get to do some sailing after a lot of motoring the last two days. Yeah, yeah. We do. Everyone's getting a bit worried we might not make it with the amount of fuel we have left. Alright, I'm gonna go finish my movie. What's your movie, Sweet Cheeks? <laughs> Me and Jackson, we've got a cover day, buddy. So we're sitting here sailing, it's been a good few days. Uh, yesterday we didn't film at all, it was pretty tense. We got 60 nautical miles in the whole day. It was building yesterday, it was pretty shit, we're hammering into it, we're tacking. Every time we tacked, the current would be pushing us backwards in the swell, so we wouldn't really gain any ground. And then that put us back, and then today the heavy winds kicked in and the swell was pretty bad. We are very low on fuel, because uh, we had to motor quite a bit this trip. We knew that like last week before we left, that the winds were building up around Malta here through the Malta channel. We just didn't make it in time. So unfortunately, Rick and Lou, they peeled off from us earlier because they wanted to motor straight to Malta because they were running out of fuel and they had a direct line. Um, I, didn't really, I didn't really trust that. I was trying to head north and sail down. And uh, so anyway, coastline and us headed, kept heading north to sail down. The swirl was building. Coastline have twice as much fuel on board than we do. They've got uh, an extra fuel tank. So they're fine. And um, what, what were the waves, Brittany? Brittany reckons they were huge. You can't even sit on camera, Brittany, but this here is flat now. But, um, but you'll see every once in a while when we go down. So the waves are kind of... The tow rail. We were heading down to the channel and it was getting worse and worse and worse so we just said to these guys look it's pretty dangerous we're going to turn back. Uh, Coastline said they'll let us know but they've got fuel on board so I think they can just hammer it straight to Malta which is what I think they did. Slacia, I mean Rick's very experienced and he's been in some pretty rough weather so I know he's, um, he's pretty good but for us. We started doing this to enjoy our lives and have fun put ourselves under any unnecessary risk and today to me wasn't worth it like this was still gonna be uncomfortable it's way better now already and we're only maybe two hours into it but I would rather completely change our plans and be more comfortable than there's no rush for us to get to Malta right now there's no reason for us to force that and that weather was telling us you're not supposed to be going to Malta. It was going to take us another uh, 19 hours, which would have got us sailing in that weather throughout the night. Uh, but turning up to Sicily here is um, going to take us uh, nine hours. Now it's about seven. So from that point, it was about. Nine. 